thanks for joining. This is Lisa Haas with Lisa Haas Custom Sewing. I'm just going to do a quick video on how to use the dart transfer command. There are two steps, there's two commands you have to use in order to transfer a dart to a different location. One of those is your dart transfer and then the last one is move dart point. Let's go ahead and copy this. I've got a side and a torso dart. Ungroup them. I'm going to move my text block out of the way. We're only going to be working with the side dart. We're not going to be doing anything to the torso dart. So the first thing we need to know is how far the dart point is from the bus point. So I'm going to do a specification, SK, right click on the dart point, right click in the center of the bus point, one inch. We need to go ahead and do a guideline here. Zoom in a little bit. I'm going to do a line by right clicking in the center of the bus point, hold my control key down, drag to the right with the mouse, let everything go, and type in 1.5. That gives us a one and a half inch line. We need to move this over one and a half. The easiest way to do it is just to do a copy. Copy, click once, hold your control key down, drag to the right, let everything go, type in 1.5. Then we're going to delete the original. Next, we need to intersect the center of this dart to that guideline. Let's put a neckline dart in. I'm selecting the neckline arc and then I'm going to put a midpoint in. Then I need to break this arc at the midpoint Get your scissors, click once on the, on the arc, then double right click on that midpoint. That gives us two distinct objects. Our transfer. Click or snap to the new dart opening point, which is here. Click or snap to the dart point click or snap, this actually should be snap, snap to one end of the old dart leg and snap to the other. I'm going to be rotating this counterclockwise, so I need to select all of the lines and objects that I want rotated. Rotate 100% counterclockwise so I'm closing up this side dart. We can get rid of all of this old dart. Then I need to draw the other dart leg. So I did a line. I'm going to right click at the beginning and right click at the dart point. Now in order to move my dart point, I need to find the center line. So what I'm going to do is to draw a line, right click on one side, right click on the other side. I, we need the center line, so that's going to be the center of this. So I'm going to do a midpoint. And then I'm going to draw my center line by right clicking on the midpoint and then right clicking at this point, which is the dart point for now. Now we know that there was a one inch difference, so I need to raise this dart point up one inch. We're going to move the dart point. It says click on the center line, click on each of the dart legs, and then right click at the dart point. One inch. Let's SK. Right click, right click, one inch. All right. Then we're going to get back in here and move our dart point back. 
copy. Click, hold your control key down. Drag to the left, let everything go and type in 1.5. Then we can get rid of these extras. So there we have the dart point moved from the side to the neckline. Let's do another one. Boom, selected, ungroup. Let's do a shoulder line this time. Let's put a midpoint on our shoulder line. Do our guide and move of the bust point. Line, right click, hold your control key down, drag to the right, let everything go. Type in 1.5. Be the bus point. Click, hold your control key down, drag to the right, let everything go. 1.5. We can get rid of this and intersect here to here. Move our text down. So we were going to do a shoulder line. Move dart point, snap on the new dart opening, snap on the dart point, and snap to each end of the dart leg. I want to move this 100% counterclockwise. Get rid of the side dart. Draw in the other dart leg. Close up. Point. Draw the center line. Our transfer. Click on the center line. Click on each dart line. Right click on the dart point. One inch. See this, one and a half inches over, and then get rid of this. There is the shoulder dart. Let's do an arm sigh. Copy. Zoom selected, ungroup, and we'll go in the middle. Let's go ahead and locate our midpoint. Our text, like this. Do our guide. Be our bus point. Get rid of this bus point. Intersect the center leg. Transfer. Here's the new dart opening. Click on the dart point. Click on the end of each dart leg. And I'm going to be rotating this counterclockwise. Get rid of the old dart. Align to the new dart point. Draw a line to close off the dart. Midpoint. Center line. Transfer. Click on the center. Click on each dart leg. Right click on the dart point. One. There we go. 
That'll be our bust point over one and a half inches. And remove this. Okay, we've gone through the dark transfer command right here and how to move your dark point. There is another way that you can do this. Let's copy this. Zoom selected. Unglue. You do want to go ahead and draw your guides. And, also, and copy this over. Okay, let's intersect this to this, and let's do a neckline, so the midpoint, we need to draw a line. I'm going to draw a line from here to here. This, this, rotate by unit. Snap to the pivot point, snap to the other end, 2.315 counterclockwise. Okay, so that closed up this dart. Draw your dart line in. Draw your end of it, close up your dart. Midpoint, draw your line. Let's just test this. SK 2.308, which is pretty close. So then we want to move the dark point. Center, leg, leg, snap, one inch. Now we want to trim this dart. It's going to fold into this line. Right click here. Right click at the dart point. Right click here. And there you go. So there's a couple different ways you can do it. You could also so you selected unbrew midpoint. Let's draw a line from here to here. Didn't get in the middle, so let's move that point. Oops, I didn't work either. <coughs> okay, there's even. There's another way to do this. Zoom selected. And group. You still have to draw your guide and get this bus point out of the way. Do want to intersect this to that guide and do your midpoint, break at the midpoint, 
draw a line from that midpoint to the bus point. Now what we're going to do here We're going to select all these lines and we're going to zoom select it. Back out just a little bit. And then rotate. Pivot point is right here. So you just pivot it until it matches up. That. Then you can get rid of your old side dart. Draw your new dart leg. Still have to do the move dart point tool. So you close that up. Mid midpoint line here. Move dart point. Click on the center, click on each leg, right click at that point. One inch. Now for some reason, it's not lined up. Let's get in close here. And move this point to right there. Now move dark point. Click on the center line, click on each dart leg, right click, one inch, and there you go. So it can be done a number of ways. The move tra dart transfer is the most precise. And then you're just going to copy this inch and a half over. And then get rid of your guideline and that extra. You could do it this way to the shoulder seam. You could do it this way to the arm side. You could probably even do it at the waistline. But there's multiple ways to do it. But like I said, the dark transfer tool is more precise. But if you can't master it right away, there are other ways you can do it. And lastly, I'm going to show you how to do a less, a partial dart transfer, transferring only half of the side dart into this neckline dart. So let's go ahead and copy our piece. Zoom selected. And ungroup. So let's do a neckline. I'm going to locate my midpoint. I'm going to select the neckline arc, grab my scissors, click once on the arc, and then double right click at that midpoint. That breaks this into two separate objects. I'm going to move my text block out of the way line right click hold your control key down drag to the right let everything go type in 1.5 then hit enter that gives us a one and a half inch line we need to copy this bus point over to the right one and a half inches click hold your control key down Drag to the right, let everything go, type in 1.5 and enter. Now we can get rid of this because it, it's only going to be in the way. Intersect the center of this dart. I want to do a specification right here. Do one right here. Okay, so these are the same width. All right, let's get rid of these. 
I did that so that I know that I can take, like when I rotate, I can rotate this center line that's connecting up to the pivot point down to the bottom dark black, and it'll work. So we go into dark transfer. It says click or snap to the point of the new dark opening. Snap to the bus point, which is right here, where we drew that guide. Snap to one end of the dart leg, snap to another. Select all your lines to rotate. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this one too. Type in 50. Counterclockwise. Okay, first let's address this side dart. It needs to meet right here, so this needs to meet up with that. So I'm going to move my point. I selected the line first, then selected the command. Right click on the end of this line, move it, and right click on the end of the other line. We get rid of that. I can get rid of this. Let's close this dart up. There's a little line I need to intersect. Actually, looks like it's just a little bitty line that can be gotten rid of. Okay, let's find the center line of this dart, so I'm going to do a midpoint. Select my line, right click on that midpoint, and right click on the dart point. I'm going to do a specification from here to here. One inch. Okay, so I do not need to move the dart point from the side dart, but I will on this neckline dart. So let's close it up. Right click on that point, right click at the bus point. Close up this dart. Locate the midpoint. Right click on that midpoint and right click at the bus point. Now we're going to move the dart point. It says click on the center line, click on each dart leg, and then snap or right click on the dart point. We know this needs to be moved one inch away from the bus point. And there it is. So you can do fractional rotations and you could do the fractional rotations with any of the methods that I've demonstrated here. Thanks for watching. I hope y'all learned something. Please comment, like, subscribe, share, you know, all that social media stuff. Till next time.